And on the security issue, I'm very clear that although the British people took a sovereign decision to leave the EU, uh, that does not mean that we were going to be leaving our responsibilities in terms of European security. Now, you asked about the vote that took place in the House of Commons last night. I'm disappointed with the amendment. But uh, actually, the EU withdrawal bill is making good progress through the House of Commons. And we're on course to deliver on Brexit. And if you remember last week, President Juncker uh, said that sufficient progress had been made to move on to phase two of our negotiations. Yesterday, the European Parliament overwhelmingly voted to accept that recommendation too, and I'm looking forward to discussing that deep and special partnership for the future. It's clear, though, you are going to have problems in Parliament. Do you accept that, as Prime Minister, you are going to have to make more compromises, not just with the opposition parties, but with your own side? Well, just look at the passage of the EU withdrawal bill so far. As I say, it has been making good progress through the House of Commons. Uh, we've actually had 36 votes on the EU withdrawal bill, and we've won 35 of those votes with an average majority of 22. So the bill is making good progress. We're on course to deliver Brexit. We're on course to deliver on the vote of the British people. Will you compromise more? We have won 35 out of our 36 votes on the EU withdrawal bill. It is making good progress in the House of Commons, and that means we are on course to deliver on the sovereign vote of the British, uh, of the British people to leave the European Union, and that's what we'll be doing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.